So what I would add is making you fuller here, okay, okay. in the outer part of the butt, okay. okay, which is also part of the hips, mm -hmm. okay, and giving you more projection, especially up here, mm -hmm. so you have a more uh, rounded volume. You're not so rounded up here and a little bit flatter up here, okay, okay? Uh, and that's what we'll try to accomplish uh, in your surgery. Okay, great. I'm insecure about this. Like I don't even want to go on the beach. My friends, they want to go hang out. Everything, you know, just. Live life, have fun. I'm not confident within myself with this. But there are all kinds of things that are gonna, you know, accentuate the, the bud and make it look like, you know, look more voluminous down there. Um, but it is something that, you know, for a long time has started out of Brazil and has made its way up here throughout the years. But in Brazil, you know, that's a culture where that body type has been celebrated for a long time. Those kind of procedures were done down there for a long time. And now, you know, they've, they've made their way up to the States and now it's starting to be something that a lot of women are aspiring to. I know girls who had tra fat transfers and they say it's natural because it's literally coming from their body but it's still not natural. Now you can always tell when a woman has done that when her legs are too small for her thighs because God makes most people in proportion, right? So if you have waist that's this big, hips that are this big, and legs that are this big, there's something wrong. It's like Ms. Mr. Potato Head or something like that. Super Mr. Potato Head from Hasbro Preschool. Very important that you do not eat or drink anything after midnight tonight. Okay. Not even a tiny piece of gum or water, nothing. Okay? okay? Oh, I'm going to have to stuff my face before so. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Have a nice dinner tonight, okay? Mm -hmm. Go have some Cuban food or something. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, I'm going to give you your trusty friend. I'm sure you have heard all about this thing. It's called a Buffy pillow. We're going to take this everywhere you go. We don't want you to sit for at least, at least six weeks, but if you have to, you know, when you get back on the plane, we're also going to hand you a letter that you're going to hand the flight crew. Okay. It's going to tell me that you had a procedure done. It's not going to say what you had done, mm -hmm. um, but just so that they know you can't sit. I tried working out a couple years ago this to be real, more realistic. I'm like, you know, I don't want to spend that much money. Let me try to work out. I'm only 26 years old. Like, I want to actually, like, live my life and, you know, have fun. Believe it or not, it's like a really big insecurity. That's the thing, people are always looking for a quick fix. So it's like, all right, get the implants, whatever. You still have to work out. You still have to eat right and take care of yourself because regardless of the implant or not, things tend to drop. You ever notice in the gym where every woman is out working out and they all working out on their butt? They always doing exercises that deal with nothing but their butt. They love doing this. As you can see, the creases of these moves. They even bring it there. This is all trying to get the man, let them know I am working on my ass right there. They either bending up, they either jumping up like this, just to shake the butt, just to shake the butt. You don't understand that there's more parts to your body than your butt, but they don't care. They just want the booty to arrive. Yeah, because everybody want a big butt. You got every commercial in the world trying to, you know, hey, buns and size and exercise to get a, a butt. My back is hurting, my mind is screaming, my chest is full of something I hate to Hey guys, this is Rosa Custis. I'm going to show you how to do a few squats. They all target different parts of your glutes, so they really work. This is the shit that was, they had a problem with me because, you know, oh, everybody, now everybody wants to show their ass now. And everybody's getting shots and doing more things to get a bigger butt. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Sasha Del Valle. You might have seen me in Wildin' Out with Nick Cannon. It's hard to be in this industry and not want to get work done and not want to have a perfect body when you're surrounded by so many girls when you go to a casting that have the hourglass shaped figure. We all want a voluptuous body, um, but I don't want to get a surgery. I don't want to um, get liposuction and move fat from one area to another. I want to do it the right way. <laughs> 